Strickland is just 18 games away from wrapping this up. The $100,000 winner take all long ball challenge. He's still hammering the rack, isn't he? Yeah. You know, not uh, up. <clears throat> Ed, uh, we were talking about Earl's uh, emotions and his behavior and personality. And I'll tell you, I think he is a very misunderstood person. Uh, and by that, I'm, I'm certainly not endorsing uh, his total behavior. But mm -hmm. I know what he believes. He believes that this sport should be like any other sport. Mm -hmm. And it should be uh, held to the same standards that all other major sports are. And unfortunately, it's just not to that level yet. And uh, he's very frustrated. Uh, in any other sport, he'd be a multiple-time millionaire. And, mm -hmm. He just, uh, it's not even about money so much as it is about that uh, he feels like he trains and works as hard as his. And, and he is a very temperamental, high-strung player. But oftentimes he acts in real good faith. Uh, I've, I've been at tournaments before, and uh, he's been very generous when there's been people uh, ask for his support in something pool-related. I know he's uh, benefited, uh, been to a lot of benefits and charities and participated, not, not just only by being there, but as well financially. Mm -hmm. well, there seems to be some ebbs and tides in his uh, behavior. And uh, tonight uh, he's been extra uh, benevolent. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a little easier for him to be good when he's winning, I can assure you that. I've, uh, I've just been signaling from my referee, Neil, that after this next rack, we're going to take her midnight break. Yes, this is the, the second break tonight, and everybody's looking forward to it, I can assure you. Well, Efren's committed the foul, and the, and, the, and the quality of play has deteriorated slightly from the fatigue that the players are feeling. short here. Uh, I guess not. Well, he certainly has stayed focused all throughout this evening. Strickland in this match. We go to a break. 